the thing that appealed to me was having had some contact with the institutional world, that is to say, archives and libraries, they were only just beginning to, to think of sound recordings as some, and film and other non-print media as something to collect, archive, organize, study, etc., etc. Um, that this organization was coming to bear around uh, various people at, at Yale and Library of Congress and UCSB and, uh, and, and other various places. And they were making making things very nice for us private collectors too. Because I was just, I was a kid, I'd been out of college maybe four or five years, and I was, you know, I was crazy to find old 78s and crazy to find some of the people that had made them. Because we're talking about 60s, back in the Stone Age, right? And some of them old dudes were still out there. And we lucked out with Dorsey Dixon, Skip James, I'm name dropping now, uh, John Hurt, Robert Wilkins, um, Wade Maynard, and, and, and etc. Those, those are kind of the all-stars, but I was involved with all of those people at, at various levels, and uh, it was a great privilege to, to know them. But all that was sort of going on independently of ours because the, the institutional people wouldn't have been able to tell you who any of those folks were with the exception maybe of a few people at the Library of Congress, but not everybody. <laughs> and so um, I got involved at that point and then um, I went in and became a professional librarian myself and, and I guess enough library was enough, so I, I really was out of arts for several years and then returned to uh, about, well, I guess in 1978 I, I got a huge grant and I used a little Arsk reference to, to, to get some, some money to do a computerized discographic study that wound up being seven volumes worth of uh, foreign, foreign language music on American-made records from the beginning of time up through 1942. And given the state of automation and everything at the time, it was a very big, uh, big deal at the time. And so, I, uh, I needed to bounce a lot of things off our speaker again, and I became very involved again at that point.